epic levels. They proceed to squander the open time and space arenas of human existence to exploit human habits and weaknesses. That simply means that uh, my discussion with, uh, well, my one-way discussion right now, it uh, hasn't been answered um, with the uh, world ambassador of the United Nations, of the, uh, the, ambassador of the, United, the, the ambassador of the United States, of the United Nations, Samantha Powers, Helen Clark, and the likes, um, haven't, uh, how to say, uh, responded to, to, to my line of questioning. As if you're asking for prof profit solutions, where you create a reality uh, where people work for impoverished wages, let's just say a dollar, two dollars an hour, and you, uh, and to prolif to make a land prolific and to develop a community of life for a living. What's to stop those same investors and those same bankers later down the line, 10, 15 years from now, from acquisitioning uh, the same lands and taking and 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 taking over? And taking over these lands and these real estate developments in, in, in languages of hostile takeovers and eminent domain, there's nothing because it's existing here in New York. It exists like that all over the world. But this this manipulation of of impoverished people to create a uh, an opportunity for wealthy investors in the near future is needs to be looked into. It needs to be questioned. Uh, these are the correlations that I that I will draw and create between human reactions to stimulations and the consequences that universal dimensions will have to suffer and result. Again, we make an allusion to a physics because physics opens up a dimension of understanding of human behavior. While humanity is in itself a cocooned entity, encased in a chamber of evolving and ascending to higher levels of awareness, we're supposed to be entering to high level, levels of awareness, it may never cease to serve its blind, intrinsic need toward being selfish, self-centered, self-fulfilling. Humanity must endeavor to seek out its interests and curiosities and so that it may self-actualize or self-attain its own freedoms with contingencies that justify that traveling the universe should be an accepted language that serves to redefine human beings as a supernatural being. Now, we're supposed to have already evolved into this individual this so-called supernatural being was supposed to be a highly aware nation a highly aware a highly aware race of, of human beings that by now with the amount of information that's out there but there are certain things that keep us from evolving into this supernatural being this idea must be accepted with the understanding that the human being has evolved without forsaking humanity or displacing its origins of value. But the only thing that we have done is, in humanity is take away the humane virtues of humanity and we have displaced the origins of those values that define us. The supernatural being will forsake all vices of human nature and harness all virtues of its nature and that nature of, of the evolved being. Otherwise, all that we as seekers will have accomplished will be another form of wasted vanity and arrogance. This is a time for every good purpose, movement, activism, or, you know, or a message, and with it we do, in all manners, the things required of us in hopes that a new day will grant us the chance to use wisdom in all our doings to show gratitude and give thanks. The human being serves those attributes which it believes to be the constituents, component parts, and embodiments that define and make up its very own identity. A synopsis depicting the impending behavior of humanity is held. Hold on for part three. Together.